Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Allison. I'm here to read you Curious George Discovers the Rainbow. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Sometimes curiosity gets a good little monkey lost in the woods, especially when he's chasing leprechauns. Would you believe that that's how George discovered the rainbow? It all started on a bright, sunny day. It was a bright day in the country. Steve and Betsy were visiting from the city for the first time. George couldn't wait for their outdoor adventure to begin, but first they had to unpack. When Betsy dropped her books, George rushed to help her pick them up. That's when he saw something he had never seen before, something amazing. That's a rainbow, George, said Betsy. See the pot of gold at the end, the leprechaun? Rainbows are always the same seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Rainbows are created by the sun and the rain, Betsy explained. Now I can make a rainbow without either. Wanna see a rainbow inside? George could hardly wait. Betsy used scissors to cut a slit in the center of a sheet of paper. Then she taped the paper over a flashlight and shined it through the fishbowl full of water. The flashlight is like a sunbeam and the water is like a rain, giant raindrop. The light shines through the water and behold, Betsy said proudly, a rainbow. That's so cool. George thought Betsy rainbow was nice, but there was no leprechaun or a pot of gold. George wondered if he would ever see a real rainbow that spanned the whole sky. Have you? He looked out the window. White fluffy clouds floated by. Looks like a nice day, said the man with the yellow hat. Meanwhile, the man helped Steve prepare for a hike. Have you ever seen any wild animals, Steve asked. We've got skunks and deer. I've seen, even seen a moose or two, said the man. A moose, Steve said. Now there's something you don't see in the city. At last, it was time for their hike. Outside, the sun was shining, but the temperature was cooler and more clouds were rolling in. I'm driving into town to get food for dinner, said the man, and then thunder rumbled low in the distance. If it rains, head home, he added. George knows the way. George led them into the forest. I'm not leaving without a picture of the moose, Steve said. Just then he felt a raindrop. Oh no, not rain. Do we have to go back already? I don't think so, said Betsy. It's probably going to stop soon. Look, the sun is already starting to peek through the clouds. Suddenly in the rain, sunlight and rain at the same time, could this be George's lucky day? Sure enough, when he turned around, there was a huge colorful rainbow arching across the sky. His wish had come true. That's the biggest rainbow I've ever seen, said Betsy. George was excited to have found a rainbow, but he couldn't see the pot of gold from here. Steve was excited too. I'm climbing this tree to take a picture of the rainbow, he said, scampering high into the branches. George needed a better view too. He knew if he was going to find a pot of gold or see a leprechaun, he needed to get closer. So what do you think he did? George ran off in search of the rainbow's end with Charky close behind him. Charky, George, wait, Betsy yelled, chasing them through the rain. When Betsy finally caught up with him, George tried to explain that he had wanted to reach a pot of gold, but no matter how far or fast he and Charky ran, the rainbow only seemed to get further away. The leprechaun with a pot of gold was just a fairy tale, said Betsy, but I guess it couldn't hurt to look just in case. Could it, Steve? But Steve was nowhere in sight. He'll catch up with us, said Betsy. Let's keep going. They hadn't gone far when something small and green hopped through the bushes. Could it be the leprechaun? George thought it must be getting close to the pot of gold now. But it was only a green frog. See him right there? Usually George ha would be happy to see a frog, but it was no leprechaun. George wasn't disappointed for long though because the frog had led him to the second rainbow. Sorry, George, Betsy said. That's not another rainbow. It's only the reflection of the rainbow on the water. How will we keep chasing the rainbow? Oh, We need to cross the river. Just then, Charky darted through the bushes after the frog and found what they needed most, a boat. 
Uh-oh, Betsy said as they floated away. How will Steve ever catch up with us now? Meanwhile, Steve realized he was all alone. Charky, Betsy, George, where are you? He called. Suddenly, something moved in the bushes. What do you think it was? Why, it was a moose! Steve shouted and he started snapping pictures, but the moose didn't like Steve's loud voice or his camera. Steve was scared. He was about to call for help when he heard a voice. Back away from the moose slowly, the boy said. It was George's friend, Bill. He knew a lot about the wilderness. And whatever you do, don't frighten it, Bill said. The moose walked into the forest. When the coast was clear, Bill introduced himself. I'm Bill, and I'm, you're lucky I found you. Moose can be very dangerous. Hey, I'm Steve, he said to Bill. Since you're so good at finding things, maybe you can help me and my sister and our friend George. I know George, Bill said. Follow me. I saw his friend in town. He'll help us. Steve, said the man, where are Betsy, Charky, and George? We got separated in the woods, Steve said. I don't know where they went. Just then, something caught, something sparkly caught his eye. More rainbows. Oh, yeah, Steve remembered. George saw a rainbow right before they ran off. If I know George, I bet he went to find the gold at the end of the rainbow. I have an idea of how to help him get home. When George, Betsy, and Charky reached the shore, daylight was fading and so was the rainbow. George knew he had to, he, they needed to head home before dark. There was only one problem. He didn't know where they were anymore. Suddenly, Charky began to bark. Something was glowing from the end of the rainbow. It must be the pot of gold. George, Betsy, and Charky raced towards the light. That is a bright light. George, over here, called the man with the yellow balloon. He was standing on the roof of their house, holding a bright, shiny balloon that was wearing a very f familiar yellow hat. George was happy to be home with his friends. There was no pot of gold, but he knew he had found the real treasure at the end of the rainbow. The end.